Um, last year, you saw that we were making continued significant improvements in our mobile advertising infrastructure. So this is the year that we're seeing it as paying off. So we've got the potential for inserting voice ads into a, into a voice stream. We have increased use of, lo of uh, local tar targeted location information for serving out ads, in increased effectiveness of ads. We're seeing this as, as, providing, as providing us, Google, with greater degrees of revenue from the existing full-featured Android, Android uh, market, as well as uh, the thing that you've already heard, heard the others talk about, which is a, uh, a heavily ad-subsidized uh, phone being offered from, from our partners. So you're, you're looking at very low cost to the consumer, subsidized by these profitable advertising technologies that we have developed. Uh, there are, we already have a tablet for Android. We're, we're going to start pushing that in, into uh, broader commercialization. So the technology exists. Clean that up, get it ready for the mass market. The hardware exists, but there's better hardware coming out for us to use. Uh, important thing on cloud apps that, that we're talking about is uh, you saw our previous, our previous investments into, uh, into making Google Docs easier to get into. This is a this is a, a push into into seventy percent feature parity with Microsoft Office. So we're trying for most people most of the time to be able to use this instead of Microsoft Office, and that plays very well into the tablet on the theory that your that you could use this functionality on your mobile device very effectively. So that tablet really could be for uh, for low end consumers, for international, or for the mobile professional, your primary computer. And uh, lastly. There are two existing services we already have: Google Chat, which is a uh, which is a video calling platform that works through IP, and Google Voice, which is a way to connect IP with the uh, with the telephone network. We're look we're going to integrate those such that through Google Voice that there is a standard for for doing video calling through Google Voice. So looking looking to to figure out how to get that onto mobile phones. That is all. Cool. Apple. Questions? Sorry, questions? You're talking about when ads are embedded into apps. Right. So the way that ad, that, that AdMob, AdMob works, we're, we're looking at for it to be similar to iAd in that there is a split. So as an advertiser advertises inside somebody inside somebody's app, the mobile app developer gets gets a cut as does Google. As does Google. It, from from an ad mob. Is there any is there any revenue that goes to the operator from the advertiser? On the on the heavily on the subsidized model, yes, there is there is a profit sharing in order to allow the in, in order to allow the operator to. Questions? Sell. Sorry, questions. Apple. We already talked about the iAds uh, partnership with Bing. Uh, number two, the BMW iDrive. Uh, we've been working for a few years now at the BMW Innovation Center. They've come up with a uh, similar to what these guys are doing with Volkswagen. Uh, we'll, we'll be releasing it next year. In the 2011 models. It's actually coming out for real. Um, and, and, and then we'll take it to Mercedes and Audi and, and other uh, high end cars. Uh, number three, we're calling this iGame. You notice that a large uh, percentage of our sales for iPad have been gaming, gaming apps, and we want to get a piece of that gaming pie. So we're coming in with iGame. It runs on Apple TV. You can use your iPad or your iPhone as a controller, as a peripheral, and uh, we want to create a whole kind of ecosystem of products that can all, all uh, be uh, used as a gaming uh, device or devices. Number four. Uh, it, this is these all these things fall under the domain of the digital lifestyle. Uh, we've partnered with Ralph Lauren. Uh, we just filed some patents uh, last week. Uh, one of our board members is from J. Crew, so we're we're coming up with a uh, iPhone uh, shopping app where you can uh, catalog all your clothing. You can, it can tell you which clothing is, needs laundry. Uh, when, the store, <laughs> when the J. Crew down the street gets this new piece of apparel that you've been dying to purchase, it'll you'll, you'll get an alert on your phone, that kind of stuff. Um, another one of our board members is the uh, is, uh, former CEO of Intuit, I believe, and uh, they've just purchased Mint, so we're getting into the personal finance game. Uh, we'll have an iPhone app, uh, also that for personal finance. Um, same thing, we a travel app. For uh, 
integrating uh, airline bookings, hotel reservations, car rentals, that kind of stuff. So this whole thing is a, a is a movement from uh, taking your digital lifestyle and putting that online to taking your actual life and putting that online. So that, that's an expansion from our current um, approach of taking digital music to digital media. We're trying to get into to real things and use our location-based services uh, and leverage that as well. Number five is the new iPad. It'll be coming out next year, right before Christmas. Um, the iPad 4G will with uh, uh, FaceTime. So it'll have a camera um, and a cloud-based app. So basically, the the Apple iPad will be your your tablet, and your hard drive is in the cloud. All your data, your applications are running on the cloud. Uh, number six. And number six, we wanted to increase the profit sharing with developers, so we wanted to uh, scale back on the amount of uh, revenue we take from developers when they sell their, their uh, apps on our app store. And those that are travel, we said acquireware.com. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Uh, any questions? To be cohesive with our past strategy of being full Apple in, in all regards within that app space. We know that there has to be some compromise, given the fact that we can't control the entire system. Oh, so Steve Jobs has passed away. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, Didn't we see that in the update. We, yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> we realized that in order to. Wade is now the head of. <laughs> yeah. We we realized that to enable us to expand to these markets, we have to sometimes do some compromising. Uh, even in our iAd space, we can control some aspects of the interaction, but we know that it, it's going to only conform to a certain standards. And part of the play is to, over the course of time, open up a little bit more in terms of how much we'll take on of non-Apple branded uh, exclusivity and not control the entire stack. I'm going to deem this question about whether or not this attempt at compromise is successful as something the panel gets to make a call on. Right, because you've announced an espoused strategy, which you've said you're trying to go and do. We get to make a call about whether or not it succeeds at this point. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Thank you. We can start negotiating for the next round. We'll look at each of these.